For my podcast, I chose a work by the artist Banksy entitled I Hate Mondays. This work appealed to me for a myriad of reasons, but mainly because of the shock value that this image delivers. The artist, Banksy, has hidden his identity from a wanting international public since the day he came on the scene, and up until a few months ago, he has remained a secret. He has used his stenciled graffiti art as a form of making political and social commentary. His art has adorned the walls of London, Brighton, Bristol, and even the barrier wall that separates Israel and Palestine in the West Bank. I chose I Hate Mondays because of the emotional effect that it had on me. The image conveys a sense of sarcasm, in which the artist points out the uselessness of our trivial day-to-day -day complaining. To me, this image portrays the divide between our world and that of the so-called third world. The colors in the image are smeared and smoggy, creating a sense of despair. Banksy's use of the color gray, especially as the skin tone for the people in the background, helped to create a feeling of isolation and loneliness. Just as the world around the fit main figure is smoggy and gray, the colors of the background are reflected in the figure's skin tone, as if he is constantly absorbing everything around him. The image is very still. There is no movement at all from the water behind the main figure. The whole image seems stiff, rigid, and stale. I think that aspect of the painting expresses to the observer of how in conditions like those shown here, time seems to stand still. The rhythmic nature of this image is depicted in the clouds in their still nature. The beat is slow and steady, like the never-ending feeling of hunger that beats in the depths of your stomach. The still water only reinforces this feeling of slow-moving progress. Everything in the background seems to be moving from left to right, beginning with the gazing stare from the young child kneeling beside the main figure. The image itself is very well balanced. From left to right, everything flows together harmoniously to depict a sense of beginning and end. The background is split into two, between the sky and the ocean. Everything progresses lightly as the shading from top to bottom is a continuous change in color. From left to right, the figures in this portrait are well balanced with a slight symmetry. The main figure falls right into the center of the portrait with either side of him are figures of the same height from different depths. This helps to create a sense of space within the portrait and also keeps it well balanced. Altogether, this painting caught my attention because it provides for me a depth in my perspective. It is easy to complain about our small problems when we are totally aware of the tumultuous world around us. The job of the artist is to tell the truth and to take people by surprise. It was the element of surprise that drew me into this image. That's all I have for my podcast. Thank you for tuning in and have a nice day.